Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting Crazy Beautiful. Today we're getting started with a football tumbler tutorial and we're going to go ahead and get started with the sanding of this tumbler. Now once you're done sanding, you're going to go ahead and add your lines that divide the two colors. Now the measurements for these lines, guys, it is a width of 10.91 with a height of 0 0.786. And this is in Cricut Design Space. And I do a few of these lines because I do a couple of these tumblers at a time as gifts. But I do a few of these lines. Now, so once you get these lines on here, these lines are to separate the two colors that you're going to be spray painting onto the tumbler because one side is going to be a football and the other side is going to be the team. Once these lines are on here, you go ahead and take it outside and you get the spray paint. So now that we have the strip on here just to separate the two colors nice thin vinyl strip i'm going to spray paint one half brown for the football side and the other half green for the eagles team player color side so we're just going to go ahead and have these short even bursts and just try really hard to stay away from the other side and now it's okay if we get a little bit there I just want to try not to. So to the bottom, you can see I got a little bit on that side, but I'll be able to cover that up. So I just want this to be as even as possible. And make sure I'm not putting it on too thick so that it doesn't begin to bleed and begin to run down. So in the meantime, while this side is bleeding, we'll go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so I got the green. Shaking up the spray paint. Just get some color. You see the green side, and I'm gonna get green when I spray. Okay, so. Now I should have on gloves because it would make this a lot easier. So I picked this color because I felt like it was really close to like the Eagles green color, the green that they use on their jerseys. And I'm trying to make it even and try to make sure it doesn't bleed because I'm not glittering this. Now, in a case where it's glittered, the bleed is not such a big deal because you're glittering over top of it. Okay, so now we have the colors looking good on both sides and we're gonna go ahead and get that strip peeled off so that we can go on to the next step. Now, the trick with peeling off that strip is to do it slowly. You know, I like to leave a little overlap as you saw earlier in the video where I tuck some into the cup just to make it a little easier for me to peel it up so I don't have to jab at the cup and accidentally scratch the cup trying to get the vinyl off. For me, that works best for me. Whatever works best for you, works best for you. But this definitely avoids me accidentally scratching the cup up, guys. Because I would be devastated. It came out so clear, right? So now we're going to go ahead and get to the epoxying stage of this cup. Okay, so once the epoxy is cured, we want to go ahead and add on our decals. The decals that I'm adding on, I'm doing with the water slide. As you can see, I have my water to the side. Um, and basically, it's like a tattoo. So you basically just soak the water, the um, paper in the water, and it comes off like a tattoo. And then I use the silicone brush to evenly place that on there without tearing it because it's delicate the same as a tattoo would be like a temporary tattoo they're pretty delicate so you want to be careful you want to smooth that out really well and this particular water slide paper that we're using is white water slide paper i do prefer clear but clear doesn't show up very well on colors so we actually had to cut this by hand i will link a video below if you want to see how i printed that out and cut it up by hand so that you can see the whole process for that. One thing to note is to make sure that your cup is damp while you are doing your decal. It makes it easier to move and make adjustments, especially if everything doesn't lay flat immediately. 
Now, unfortunately here, the other decal is added and it is not on video. The video did not record. I really thought I was recording it, guys. But unfortunately, this particular part of the video did not record. But now we're going to go ahead and do the other side of the cup. This side is going to be the side done in vinyl where we put on our laces and we put on our lines. So let's go ahead and get to that, that part. Okay, so going to go ahead with our decal. Now for the actual laces, I use transfer tape. And I'll save these pieces for later. For the strips, I do not. I actually put them on by hand. Sometimes you have a hard time getting these to pull up, but all right, there we go. So I want it to be in the middle, and I have it pretty much already lined up. I want this in the middle, just a little slight turn. Okay, so right here in the middle. I do this part with my hands because I feel like doing it individually really helps it get on there good. And when you don't, it might not stick. I have had issues myself where it didn't stick when I didn't do it that way. Okay, so now that we have this on here, before I put the white lines, I'm gonna put my silver lines. I didn't have any ones left, so I had to make them really quick. And I also do not use transfer tape for these either. I try to make a good amount, so I have them for when I need them later. But not too many, because I might choose a different color. Okay. So all we're going to do is pick this up, and we're going to lay down the silver and you already kind of have a guide from when we laid it down to spray paint in the first place so you want it in the exact same spot now i make sure it overlaps inside of the cup to hold it in place because when the resin heats up the vinyl tends to move So I try to make sure there isn't too much wiggle room with that. All right, so I'm actually gonna cut that little piece off right there. Right here. I'm not worried about the little cuts that I'm making when I put the resin on there. When I put the epoxy on, it will fix that. You won't even see it. All right, so I'm gonna need one more. Okay, so I'm gonna try to line that up as best I can. All right. Trying not to go off camera, guys. All right. And then we're just gonna do our best to get that lined up really good. And boom. Okay. Pop that off. Good to go. I stretch these when I'm putting them on. I feel like they just look better when I do that. My opinion. If you don't want to stretch them, don't stretch them. So I just lay it down. And then I stretch it across. And then I cut it right at that line. With my exacto knife. Ugh. 
it's okay if it doesn't reach all the way over. It will still look great. Okay, and then I just smooth that out. And then from this step, we just go right back in with the epoxy. we're done thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and live your crazy beautiful life guys bye